What's good, YouTube? Y'all know the vibes. We back again with another day for day production. All right, so today, as y'all can tell, we outside today, and I'm gonna be showing you guys a few simple workouts that I've been doing during quarantine to stay in shape. So first off, we're gonna probably start with some flutter kicks, our ab wheel, bunch of different variation of ab workouts. Then we're gonna hop into some push-ups, some curls, and I'm gonna show you guys what I do for cardio. I typically jump rope, so I'm gonna be showing you guys some of that, and we're gonna jump right into this one. So first off, I'm gonna start off with some flutter kicks. So I bring my little towel out here because the track is, track is pretty rough, you know what I'm saying? So I bring my little pad out here, you can call it if that's what you want. You know, get down, hand right under here because it puts a lot of strain on your lower back. So I put my hand under my back just to get a little bit of elevation. And start like so, I do like 50 of these and then we jump into the next one. Sometimes I crisscross, just so you know, loosen my, my legs up. What I'm gonna jump into are some suitcases. Suitcases are not too hard, but it's definitely not beginner level. So, you know, you can slowly work your way up, start off with the ab wheel, and then, you know what I'm saying, you'll start to be able to do suitcases. So what I do is I put one hand behind my back, huh? one, hand, one hand behind my head, <laughs> my bad, and one hand out, and then you lift your legs up into your chest cavity. Switch to the other side. Nice simple workout. Nothing too crazy. But it really works out your abs. Straight like that. Alright, so next we're gonna jump into some ab wheel. Uh, it takes time to really be able to do it perfectly, but the main thing you need to focus on is your balance and keeping your core engaged the whole time. So you come down, make sure that both of your legs are close together. You're staying on your knees, but you're keeping your, your legs slightly lifted above the ground. So you're only using your, basically your upper body and your core to stay up. So you have to have great balance. I go at different angles just to get different parts of the abs. So I make sure I'm working every part of my abdominal region. Straight like that, simple. Yeah. All right, so next we're gonna jump into some jump rope. Jump ropes are cheap. Could grab a jump rope from anywhere i typically do jump rope for probably around well i don't really have an exact time frame but i just do it until i'm tired and i'm just done and i'm ready to go home so i'll probably say i'll do around let's say five minutes five to ten minutes on a jump rope two days a week that's my cardio and that's pretty much it i don't really run anymore i used to run a lot and i'm, I'm done with that <laughs> like i'm i'm through with it for sure for sure so when i do my jump rope i start to you know, I get into like a little freestyle. I start doing little tricks, but you know, as you get into it, you start to become more comfortable. So then you can start to try different things. But if you just jump and rope regular, that's fine for now. But once you get more advanced, you'll see exactly what I mean. So I switch legs just to focus more on my calf muscles, but speed it up. I go slow, jump around, just have fun with it, you know? Do some tricks. 
But this is what I do for cardio. Keeps me in shape. It should keep you in shape. So the next thing I want to jump into is some push-ups. Typically every day, I have to get a thousand push-ups in. That's mandatory. Keep my chest up, keep my back up, keep my shoulders up. It keeps everything up here intact. So I'm gonna show you guys, cause I do a different type of push-ups. I don't go all the way up and down, but I stay almost in between, almost in the middle, so that I can keep that constant tension on my shoulders and on my chest. So, keep game. So I get down. I don't put my arm, my hands too far apart. Sometimes I do diamond, but lately I've been having a little bit of shoulder pain, so I don't want to overkill it or anything like that. So I just leave my hands a little bit closer to each other. Like, I guess arms width apart, shoulder width apart, and I just come up and down like so. Almost like a bouncing motion, but I do like, I can do around 80 of these straight, and then it doesn't take me too long. I could probably finish the thousand in about 45 minutes, maybe 30. So, I'll probably show you guys another video on that too later if you're interested. So, be sure to comment below if you're interested in seeing that. So, see, not too high off the ground, but you're still getting money. You do a lot of these, you're definitely gonna feel it. As y'all can see, I can do those forever, you know what I'm saying? I can do a bunch of them. So I typically, for sure, every day, seven days a week, a thousand of those in. You see great results, your chest, shoulders, and your back. So next off, I'm gonna add a little bonus for y'all. I'm gonna hop into some curls, and also I do some arm raises for my delts and my shoulders. And I'm also gonna hop into some some leg workouts that I also do to stay in shape during these times. All right, so for curls, what I do for sure is I get, I know you guys back home, y'all probably get frustrated with working out. I do too. Even though I'm at this stage, those still, I still have those demons, you know what I'm saying? So what I try to do is, is high intensity, quick amount of time, and you know, in a short amount of time where as it can keep me focused and I'll stay engaged. So I'll do curls for 15 minutes, two times a day, just to keep my biceps looking nice. You know, I, I know y'all know that look nice. And I can still make gains. So like I said, I'm gonna say it again. I do curls for 15 minutes, two times a day. Total of 30 minutes worth of curls. Spread it out throughout the day, but still get your money in. So, simple stuff. You know, it doesn't look too difficult. I only got one dumbbell, so bear with me. <laughs> but I'm using my resources. I'm making what I have work for me. And you guys can clearly see the results. This hand get a little tired. I'll switch to this hand. It's nice, nice and smooth, nice and calm. Try to get that, that tension right in between here keep the weight under control so you can have a peak. And then I work on my shoulders. So I put one hand right here, just so this hand is not dangling and it just feel weird. Keep one hand right here. Up. Control the weight as you come down, then move it over to the front. Back up. Control the weight, front. Looks easy, promise you it's difficult. And then I just switch hands. But I do this consistently for 15 minutes. Until I set my little timer on my phone. 15 minutes, two times a day. Okay. 
So then next, I do it this way. It's another type of bicep workout. Works more if you're outer, outside here. Keeps everything in order, keeps everything looking nice. And simple, you know, nothing too crazy. You don't kill yourself. And y'all will all make gains off of that. All right guys, so we're coming to the end of this video. If you guys made it to the end of this video, be sure to comment a couple fire emojis down below. What we're gonna end off with is some legs. I don't do anything too crazy for legs. Do a couple squats. Then I do a couple lateral lunges. I guess you can call them. And I call it quits. Two days a week, two days a week for legs. And that's pretty much it for me. So I'm gonna start off right here. Come down. So for squats, I'll do probably around 300 squats. And then the lateral lunges, I'll probably, it really burns the lateral lunges. That, those really have my quads on fire. So I'll typically do like three to four sets of lateral lunges, 300 squats, and that's it for me. Two days a week for legs. All right, so let's go. I leave my hands out for balance, just so you know what I mean. I feel balanced on both sides. Um, this also keeps, make sure you also get your resistance bands, because it also helps with the balance when you're doing these free range of motion squats. Nice and easy. Focus on your form. All right guys, last but not least, we're gonna get into these lateral lunges. You guys may call them something else, but <laughs> whatever you call them, leave it in the comment section below. So typically, start here, and I go from, well in basketball, we call it baseline to baseline. It's track, I guess you could call it side to side. But start right here, come down, Basically, if you play basketball, it's almost like a defensive stance. You get in your defensive stance, your quads are engaged, keep your back straight. What you wanna do is put your arms out so that you can keep your balance and you bring your, your right foot, you might be left if you're vice versa, and you move it into your inside foot. And then you go from side to side. So just like this. Pull this leg into the, your guide leg. We get to this side, straight back over. And just like that, simple workout, four to five sets of that, you'll be good to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to smash that like button, comment down below, and until next time, I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Stay patient, but never complacent, and take things day for day.